Last time on Survivor Yukon. After his number one ally went home, Alex found himself in a dangerous spot on the bottom of the Jaskilka tribe. On Moynihan, Robbie found the hidden immunity idol and replaced it with a fake idol later found by his ally, Kira. With the threat of a possible swap on the horizon, Matt, Andriana, and Bijan formed a cross-tribal alliance with Robbie, Kira, and Hope. After the immunity challenge, Moynihan dominated again while Verdefoy had to go to their second tribal council. The alliance of three between Bijan, Adj, and Matt ultimately decided that Neil was their weakest link, and Neil became the third person voted out of Survivor Yukon ready to rumble. Thirteen are left. Who will be voted out tonight? But we got the tribal, which was pretty weird. I don't think Neil really saw it coming because he said he felt lucky, which was really, really weird and suspicious. And like right when he said that, like, you can see like Caroline was like, what? Like she was like scared because I guess she thought we turned on her or something. But we sent him out, which I think in the end was a good move. I love Neil. I loved all of my tribe um, mates, but like I, we feel like he didn't really like, contribute a lot to the tribe. Um, he didn't come up with like a lot of strategy for comp for like the challenges and stuff So we just feel like he was the weakest link at that time. So we just decided to put his name down Welcome back everyone to your next challenge. Do you want if I could take immunity back from one hand? Thank you. Is this tradition? Did you guys do that last time? <laughs> Alex if I get immunity back for Thank you, thank you. All right, so last time uh, we teased the swap, 14, obviously 14, nice even number. Uh, tonight we have 13 people, nice prime number. So naturally we're gonna switch tribes. Everyone drop your bandanas. The whole tribe swap thing happens, which I kind of thought like maybe it would happen, but I was like, probably not. I figured we were close to merging. I was hoping we'd merge already, but we definitely do need to play a little bit more in teams. So Ryan says to drop our bandanas, and he passes her in a bag saying, pick out a new bandana. Kiwan, why don't you go first? Yeah, I'll walk with her. I'll walk with her. Someone's got a... I'll walk. Hey. Hey. Last one. And I pull out a pink one. As the bag gets passed down, I see all of my teammates pick different colors for me, and I'm thinking, Oh boy, I'm in some deep shit. Uh, when you brought up the swap, I wasn't expecting it at all, really. I was expecting like a few more weeks and then we'll do like some sort of merge or something. Uh, but when the swap happened and I was standing next to my blue tribe, all of them got the pink bandanas and I was like, there's no way I'm getting a pink bandana. And I was the only one to get on the Kemba tribe, so I was panicking, honestly. When the tribe swapped, I was relieved to see that um, I was with Bajan and Adj, and then finally I got put in a group with Maddie. So I think that really changed the game 
Whereas before we couldn't really work together, this gave us a lot more opportunity to do that. So when we were picking the colors, I like picked mine and I like looked to my right and I saw like Carolina and Maddie both had like the same colors. And I was like, perfect. Like, I already established trust with her, and I sort of told her, like, to her face, I said, I want to work with you and Maddie. Like, Matt wants you out because of Maddie. I want to work with you because of Maddie. Like, I want a strong, like, three-person alliance. One left. All right. Um, so with the tribe swap, um, at first, first impressions, I was a little bit nervous just because Shane and Heidi were on the other tribe, and they were part of my alliance. Um, but I saw Alex was on my tribe, so I figured original green tribe we could probably work together. And then also Carolina was on my tribe. So, and I and I know that she has um, like her own alliances with the blue tribe. So I figured that we could get something together to get the numbers for this tribe. Stand in the middle. Yes. Yes. Um, the swap was definitely unexpected. Um, the Kemba tribe, like, I'm really glad to still be with Shane. Matt seems really cool, but um, it is pretty intimidating because there are three um, red players. <laughs> all right, we swap into Kemba tribe, and I feel pretty confident because this is all people I know, and the people I don't know seem pretty eager to just kind of join in. In regards to the swap, uh, feeling confident. It's still good to have uh, most of my original tribe still in it. Um, that definitely boosted my confidence going in. Um, but yeah, with Heidi and Shane, I feel like it just mixes in so much more, I don't know, so much more randomness to the whole entire equation. Um, but yeah, still, still confident, still got the original, original group, original gang going. All right, so we got our new, two new tribes right now. Our new pink tribe is the Tarasi tribe, named after uh, Diana Tarasi. Uh, sick WNBA player, a uh, player at Connecticut, obviously. Um, so on the new Tarasi tribe, we have Maddie, Kiwan, Ijan, Carolina, Adj, and Alex. And our new orange tribe, our new orange tribe is the Kemba tribe. Yes! yes. yes. Kemba Walker. Yeah, I like that. Uh, orange tribe, we have Hope, Barrett, Matt, Heidi, Shane, and Robbie. Uh, initially, I was pleased with my tribe because I saw we had I had two other Moynihan's on my tribe, uh, Hope and Barrett, and there's also Matt, who I kind of formed an alliance with uh, in our alliance of six, which comprised of Matt, Bijan, Adj, me, Kira, and Hope. Uh, we met a couple times preliminarily to like discuss a possible alliance, so I feel pretty good with Matt too. And then Matt didn't. That was like the rough one because like Matt is I still consider him like my number one alliance. So when he didn't pick it, I was like a little bit upset. And then I saw his team and I was like, thank God I'm not on that team. And there's Shane and Heidi who are kind of on that green tri tribe, which for some reason I feel like the green tribe and the red tribe have been pitted against each other from an early point. So I'd, I'm glad we have the numbers advantage over them so we can hopefully get one of those guys out. And lastly, we have Kira who drew the blue buff. So now I'm on the Kira tribe because I'm the only one that pulled a blue bandana. Um, I don't really know what to think about it. So Kira has the off-color buff, which means, Kira, congratulations, you are safe for this round. You do not have to compete in the immunity challenge. You will not be going tribal no matter what. What will happen is whichever tribe loses the challenge, they will vote off one of their members and Kira will, be, will join their tribe following tribal council. So you'll be the new member of that tribe. It might kind of put me at a disadvantage because People, like, at least the first time, like, the, whoever's gonna be voting each other out, like, are gonna get a chance to know each other. And meanwhile, I'm just gonna, like, pop in. I'm gonna be missing, like, a week where everyone is, like, in a group chat together, and I'm just, like, kind of by myself. But, I mean, it's also kind of nice that I don't have to go to tribal council. So, it's definitely a plus. And we also have one more announcement involving Kira following the challenge, so you should stick around. For tonight's challenge, this is what we did last season. It's called Idle Hands. So the way it works is each team will have a little whiteboard here that you have on one hand. You'll have a cup, and the cup is uh, over halfway filled with water. You'll have that in one hand, and you'll be facing off against an opponent from your tribe. So your goal is to hit the opponent's cup off their, their whiteboard, and whoever's cup hits the ground first. It's not who knocks it off first, it's whoever's cup hits the ground first. 
All right, I'll give you guys this time to strategize, and then we'll go outside and get started. But like, as we were leaving uh, to actually go to the event, we, me and Robbie were just like, we're, we're throwing this challenge. We're out here on our new tribes, about to partake in our first immunity challenge for uh, <laughs> Tribe Kemba. We're throwing the challenge. We're gonna throw the challenge and get Kira on our team. All right, first matchups, we're gonna have Robbie in Carolina. Let's go, Robbie. Woo! Let's go, All right, Carolina. we got our stuff. Yeah. Survivor's ready. Go. Ah, okay. Oh, Carolina <laughs> loses it. Robbie, the point right off the bat. All right, Kemba up 1-0. Survivor's ready. Go. Starting the circle. Oh, Kiwan takes a lunge. Kiwan gets it. Tarasi with a point. It's 1-1. All right, next matchup, we're gonna go Matt versus Adge. All right, 1v1, survivor's ready. Go! Adge getting close to the edge, he might step out. Matt trying to go for all this circling. Adge gets it, Adge gets the point. All right, pinks up, Taras is up 2-1. Survivor's ready, go! Oh, Heidi almost losing it. Oh, Matt oh. loses it. Heidi hangs on. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. We're all tied up. All right. Survivor's ready. Go. Bijan just boxing out. Oh, Bijan almost uh. losing it, though. You gotta be careful. You don't want to lose it just on your own. Bijan gets it. Pink with the point. Frosty Tribe up three to two. You're good. That's fine. Survivor's ready. Go. Oh, Shane's went down first. Alex gets the point. Frosty up four to two. I'm wet. All right. Tarasi, Pink Tribe's up 4-2. Tribe's ready. Go! Oh, no. oh. Strong move. Tarasi, 5-2, Barrett loses it on the, on the dodge. All right, Survivor's ready. Go! Oh, Hope gets it. Hope with the point. Orange, Kemba Tribe still working at it. It's five to three. All right, got on Alex. It's five to three, Tarasi Tribe. Tribe's ready. Go! Oh, Heidi makes a lunge. Oh, Heidi loses it. Alex with two points in this game. All right, Chambers, Maddie here. Tarasi Tribe's looking for game point. Kemba Tribe's looking to just stay in this. All right, Survivor's ready. Stand back a little. Let's do it. All right, Survivor's ready. Go! Shane gets it. Shane keeps Kemba in it. All right, Robbie versus Adge, same thing. Pink Tribe gets this. It's game point. Survivor's ready. Go. Oh, Kemba gets it. Making a comeback here. Kemba has five. Tarasi has six. Same thing. Pink Tribe, game point. It's 6-5 right now. Kemba needs this. Survivor's ready. Go. Watch the edges. Oh, 
North Carolina make a lunge. This is a long one. This is a big point for both tribes. Oh, Matt gets it. Matt with the fling. And it is all tied up. All right. Um, yeah. All right, we got Ejon and Robbie, our two seniors on opposing tribes, battling for the last point. This is for, this is it. Survivors ready? Go! Wait, no backing into each other, none of that. But just moves with, moves with the hand. Ejon gets it. Pink, pink. Karasi tribe gets the win. Alright, Tarasi Tribe, congratulations. Yeah. Alright, uh, Kemba Tribe, unfortunately the comeback was to nothing. I will be seeing you guys in the Tribal Council this week. So, we have one more announcement uh, before we uh, finish up tonight. So, I have a, a little note here. Um, it's going to go to Kier actually, being a part of the Kier Tribe. So, Kier, come on up. <laughs> This is a note for you to read, but um, as the winning tribe, Taurasi is the winning tribe, I would like you to select one person from the Taurasi tribe to uh, read that with you. They're going to stay back mm -hmm. and read the note with you. So it can be anyone from the pink tribe. Right now? Yeah. yeah. Um, that would be Ash. Alright, Ash gets to read the note. Alright, Ash, why don't you come up here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so I decided to share the idol clue with Ash because I trusted her that like she wouldn't really tell anyone else and also I wanted to be in an alliance with her um, because we do know each other outside of the game. So at the end of the challenge, uh, here if she wasn't on a tribe, um, got like some kind of hidden note and she got to share it with someone and she shared it with Edge, which I think was a really dumb move. Kira is something else. Why would she choose Edge? That's why I don't understand. Like. You're just making it more obvious that you two are like clearly working together. Like, if she was smart, I mean, obviously I'm gonna say she should pick me, but she should have picked me. Like, technically I earned it. I won like three of my team's seven points. There wasn't a lot of time to choose, so I, I might have like put our alliance on the line with that <laughs> by showing. I might have like put her in trouble because she, like everyone else was like suspicious of her maybe afterwards. So I think anytime you have like a reward or anything that like you can share like that, you always want to share it with someone that like you don't really have a connection with because if she shared it with me or like anyone that she didn't know, it could have been like forming a, like a bond and trust like for the future, but instead she just shared it with someone who's already her friend. So right, I'm coming over your shoulders. Okay. You guys get to read this. Um... Hmm. And you can take a picture of it. Yeah, please. Who's that? Oh, yeah, I'm tired. This is going to be a tough spot. Because now my tribe knows I know. But, oh, was that bad? No, no, it's okay. You have to take some of this. Are you going to tell them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's going. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what I should do. Actually, I might go in the unit. Should I tell them the no. order? No, I should just not tell them anything. So, uh, okay, we're set with our lives, right? Yeah. But, so, who was in on that road challenge? Me, Barrett, Hope. Like, I walked up to Barrett so, and Hope, and I was like, we should throw the challenge. Okay. It's gonna be Shane. Shane? Yeah. Shane was the one who like was causing yeah. all that drama in the group chat, and I feel like he's yeah, definitely a threat in the. Uh, that's Heidi. Heidi. Yeah. How about you could come up with your own clue for this that would point to the same idol? Okay. Like come up with a new clue. Come up with a new clue. Oh, a new clue. Like a to... new clue that points to where the idol is, and then tell them that. So yeah. I'll, I'll think it's a new clue, and we can just <laughs> keep the old clue to ourselves, or the, new, the real new clue to ourselves. But if okay. we like. Created a really obvious clue. We could tell them the other clues. They'd know where it is. Maybe Sh uh, Shane would get the, the fake, and then they wouldn't even try to convince Matt to come over because he's like, I got an idol. I don't need him. 
Okay, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna place this. Did you finish making it? No. I'm gonna right. place it tonight. I still have to take out that fake note. I'm gonna place it tonight or tomorrow. And then in our group chat, I'll tell them about the three clues. Okay. And it's you can tell them what you want. Okay. And then I'll tell them what I'm gonna do. Okay. 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 Uh, challenge was actually really fun. Like, no complaints as far as the actual challenge went, but it was really entertaining. Um, I went against Maddie at one point during it, and I felt awful, um, just because, like, I didn't want to go to Tribal, but I also didn't want Maddie to have to go to Tribal. It was weird that we were working together to not have that scenario happen. And we lost. We were convinced that Robbie threw that last round so he could vote us off, because he really didn't do shit that round. Um, shocker. This isn't my personal belief, but I know both Matt and a little bit of Shane had said that um, they felt that Robbie might have thrown the challenge in order to vote one of us out. Uh, about that loss, yeah, definitely it was a strategic move. Um, there was just, there was too much uncertainty with the group that we had, and it was a little too close to not, to me not being in the majority, and I don't like that. The challenge itself is actually pretty fun. I enjoy, I enjoy it a lot, and that was a good one. Immediately, right as the kind of qualifications of the challenge and the whole deal with um, the kind of one person tribe of Kira is laid out, Robbie has the idea to throw the challenge so that we can get Kira in on our side, and I am um, a little skeptical about that, but we uh, quickly decided that that would be the way to go. I was pretty proud of my move with the cup where I threw it up and it knocked, I think, Carolina's cup over and then it landed perfectly in the ground. That, that was enough victory for me. We all went to the student union. It was me, Hope, Matt, and Heidi. And we were trying to convince Hope that we should vote off Barrett. After uh, we threw the challenge and knew we were going to tribal council, most of the tribe went to the union to get some food and there's, I knew there was going to be strategy talk, so initially I walked off with Grandy and Kira to talk, but then I, I doubled back and met up with them. And then, uh, fucking Robbie comes out of nowhere and is like, tell her, he told us the clues, and he's like, let's go all look, um, tomorrow. And we're like, sure, and he's like, we want, I want to vote Barrett out, and I was like, what? I think we tell, we make the case that we're gonna go for Barrett, because Barrett did do poorly in the challenge. And I kind of planted a, like a false seed in, uh, in the group when I, t I told Shane and Heidi that initially we had planned on voting out Barrett in the uh, Moynihan tribe. And uh, Shane said like, I'm so glad he said that because I was just thinking it was going to be me. And uh, we kind of like planted the idea that we'd be working with him against Barrett. I didn't fully believe that they would give up the chance to have that many formerly red players on the new tribe. And he goes, let's go look tomorrow, find the idol, and um, we'll all vote Barrett out. And I was like, that's bullshit. Why would you want us to go look? Like, who's going to keep it? He's like, oh, we made it like a group thing where, like, if we get the idol, no one uses it. I'm like, that's fucking bullshit. Who's holding on to it? So me and Heidi didn't believe a word that he said. He's a terrible liar. Um, and it turns out that Barrett was the one who won. Um, and that was with Robbie. Um, and according to Matt, Robbie was like, let's get rid of Shane. Like, and I obviously don't want that because Shane's my ally. And if I lose Shane or Matt, like, I feel like Red's just gonna pick us off one by one. And we threw the challenge and now we're, we're gonna go to the um, tribal and hopefully vote Shane out if everything goes to plan. And then before that comes, we're gonna plant another fake idol. Kira thinks she has the real one. So Kira came up with a fake clue to the idol that we made, um, and we're gonna give it to Shane and the other members of the green team in hopes that they look for it before tribal council so that they find it, they think they're safe, and that, that way they won't shake anything up. So if Shane or Heidi comes out here looking for the idol, we'll start at the gate. Hopefully take about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps. If they look at the rock wall, shift anything around, they'll see the fake idol waiting there for them.
So for the water cup challenge, I think um, Kiwan and Alex did pretty well. Um, they both got both their cups down and then um, we ended up winning the final tiebreaker one, which was good for our tribe. Especially in the last round when it was like me versus Robbie. I was like, I know Robbie's a physical player. That's why my first instinct was, I'm gonna throw my body at him. <laughs> but then you're like, don't do that. So I did it. So I just went for the cup. But I know he's a physical player, and I knew like beating him would be huge for me. So I felt really good. I really wanted to send that tribe to tribal because I mean, you, there's some big players on that tribe. Robbie, Shane, Heidi, like all three of those people are people that are big players in this game. I think we did all right. Um, some people really stood out. I believe that was Alex and Q1. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the way I performed in the challenge too because I won both my rounds. I got to, I beat Heidi who lied to me and I beat Shane who was like taunting me. He probably me mad at me because I voted for him but I still beat him, so. So our challenge performance was pretty great. Like I said, it was very narrow. Uh, I personally won one challenge, and, or won one round and lost one round. Um, uh, I think my, my fencing skills came in handy a little bit there. Um, I have mixed feelings about the new uh, the new tribe because, um, first of all, everyone seems to get along, uh, which happened at at just skill gun. It didn't end well. Uh, so um, you know, and now we, we get to new tribes, and there are no familiar faces. Uh, these other teams that we beat every single round, of course now they're going to be, you know, I'm thinking, oh, they might be angry at me because I'm, I'm the, the symbol, you know, the, the one red guy left um, opposing, you know, against all these, these X, blues, and greens. And Kiwan, I mean, there was some talk that he might have the idol because Kira told Adj, who told me and Matt, that she thinks Kiwan has the idol. And she was like, I asked Robbie and Robbie said he didn't have it. Why? Robbie has the idol. It's pretty much common knowledge at this point. So. Um, I'm not really worried about Kiwan either. Um, but as soon as I saw Alex on the tribe, I got like, I was like, we need to get rid of him if we lose the next challenge because he is a huge threat. Um, I noticed that Ad was mentioning that she was a little nervous around him because she, she couldn't really tell what he was thinking. Um, so definitely I was thinking that Alex could be a target later on in the boat. It was exciting when we found out we were going to be in the Tarasi track together, uh, just because I like I knew that I could trust Maddie the most, probably. Oh my god, I can't believe we're on the same track. This is crazy and pink color. <laughs> we can finally make it a win. Oh my god, this is what oh we've my been god. wanting. If we're going to win this. <laughs> um, so we... All, we met the beginning of the year. Um, we're on the same rowing team together, so we obviously spend a lot of time together and we ended up getting really close. Um, we live on the same floor, so like we always see each other and we end up like studying together. After the challenge, I texted Carolina. I was like, I'm so happy you and Maddie are on my tribe. Like, we're gonna be like so great together. And she's like, yeah, like let's get lunch tomorrow. So we got lunch. Um, so originally, um, being like on the same rowing team together in the game. Um, we kind of tried to play it off slightly that we didn't know each other at all, but that ended up not really working out at all. Um, everybody knows at this point that we're friends. Um, I think we're still playing individual games though. We just, it just it is convenient that we're voting together. <laughs> and we officially formed an alliance and we have an alliance name, which I haven't been able to have like this whole game. So. Our alliance name is like Third Eye, because perception is that's what all your third eye is about, and so that's huge in Survivor. And there's three of us. So, I mean, I think our alliance is pretty balanced. We have like the bronze and the brain. Um, both are me, and obviously me, the beauty, also. So, the alliance is working out really well. Um, and then, I don't know, Bijan, I had like first impressions on the first challenge, she drove me home. Um, seemed like a nice guy. I, I just like a guy that I like want to work with. So I, I have pretty good trust in him. I think us three are really loyal to each other, but they want to vote out Ad. So I'm gonna need to. It's like my biggest flaw in this game is that I'm gonna be aligned with like everybody, and at, at some point somebody might expose me. Um, Robbie wanted to search for the immunity idol after. Uh, 
after class or after class or after six today. Um, but I was like, I can't do that. I got homework and stuff like that, and that was because me and Heidi went going for it. And we looked in the graveyard, we looked everywhere, and that's where we were certain of it. So we went poking around the graveyard and didn't find anything. Uh, and Robbie gave us so many clues that it was like. We found a tombstone that looked like a lamppost, and there was a, on the grave there was a tree outline, and like it was like near the wall, like it was like a perfect setup, and we didn't find anything there. And we were like looking, we we were so hell bent that we looked the entire graveyard, um, the outside of it, looking in the rocks, like trying to see like where, um, like where the crevice could possibly be, and we couldn't find it. So Heidi and I also looked for the immunity I wrote. In the library, there's like a whole like wall of like just faces, and like one of the clues had to do with a rock face. Okay, so we're in the geology section right now because <laughs> of Shane's idea that it might be, you know, rock face, a book. So, hey, he's been looking through some books. We'll see what we can find. Today, she wanted to check out the big graveyard again, and I don't know how Shane and I missed it. It was like 10 feet away from the entrance, but like. Uh, I found this hidden in the wall, um, and like Hope was standing like three feet away from me, like when I saw it. And I was like, maybe you should check the other side and see if it's there. So like while she was walking around the wall, I like yanked it out <laughs> and I like shoved it into my inner pocket and I was like, oh, it's cold and I zipped it up. I don't think she knows that I have it, like it's possible she like might know. I was under the impression that she didn't find anything, so she did find, maybe she did find something. Heidi and I like bonded, we talked a lot, because I hadn't really talked to her before then, and um, that was pretty fun looking around with her. When I was searching with Hope, like I actually really enjoyed talking to her, like I felt bad hiding it from her, she seemed really nice. I had her in the same league as Robbie as far as like distrusting and not liking, but like spending like an hour with her, like she's so nice. Heidi's gonna talk with Barrett to, uh, on Sunday at 3 to try to convince him to vote for Hope. Heidi uh, came up to me and tried to convince me to vote for um, Hope instead. What did Heidi say to you? Yeah, Heidi uh, talked to me in the library saying that uh, her, Shane, and they were gonna try to get Matt to get on the side with me to vote you out, to get you out of the way. Um, and I went to Matt first before they could to tell him about the plan. And tell oh, him, wait, like, you did talk to Matt? Mm -hmm. I didn't talk did to him in person, I just texted him. Yeah, what did um, Matt say? He said briefly that, like, he was just on board with my plan, but I said, like, you know, just pretend that we were with them if they say anything. Yeah. And then from there, blindside them pretty much at the at Is this travel. a blindside? <laughs> <laughs> blindside Ethan. That, yeah. <laughs> Can we just all write Absolutely. Ethan and like, on the Pacific <laughs> Um, but immediately I was like, that's that's not happening, but I decided to play along with it. I decided to sort of make it seem like I was on their side for a little bit to gain the confidence before we got someone else out. I was impartial to whether we wanted to go to Heidi or Shane. We haven't told Matt. I told him I would tell him if I found it, but Shane and I talked it over and we think it'd be a better idea if like we were the only two that knew about it. So like when it's played, like Hopefully, Robbie goes through with his plan to get everyone to vote Shane out so Shane can play it on himself, and then our votes towards Robbie will hopefully get him out. So I talked to Heidi and Shane and told them I'd vote with them against Robbie. Um, for voting, I think Shane and I are obviously going to vote for Robbie, um, and we think Matt is as well. Um, whether or not Matt does choose to vote with us is hopefully going to be non-consequential because we're going, the two of us will vote for Robbie anyway. Like, part of me has a small fear that with the idol, like, Robbie found it, took the actual idol, then took, like, the accompanying, like, things and, like, put a fake necklace or whatever in it, like, that might just be paranoia. Um, so Robbie, I went to the jewelry store and I got, um, a nice necklace. And a cer certification of authenticity. Goodbye, dude. Peace! Alright, welcome everyone to Tribal Council. Pop sitting here up and we'll join the tribe.
describe afterwards, absolutely. Alright, so we'll get right to it. We have the six of you, the Kemba Tribe lost the challenge this week. So um, there was a tribe soft this round. So we have new tribe, everyone got a little mixed up. So Hope, were you expecting this coming out of the last challenge, coming to this challenge? You expect to get mixed up? Last time we kind of hinted at a mix up, so I'm pretty sure most of us were expecting it. I don't know, did you guys expect it? Did she go? <laughs> Alright, I guess Hope was expecting it. Alright, so Shane, you guys lost the challenge. So what do you guys what do you think of your guys' performance? You guys were down by a lot and you came back and you couldn't get it through. Do you think you guys could have done more? Or do you think that was your guys' best effort? No, I think I think it was like for a lot of us it was kind of weird just like going up against our former teammates. And I think after we got past that and we came up with the idea of you know, tossing the, the cup up in the air. Um, as a last resort, I think I think we just got unlucky. I think there's only so many you can win in a row before like it goes its way the other way. But I think we did multi job. Yeah, Matt did that. He threw the cup up. Why did no one else do that? That, that worked. Yeah. For the record, is my idea. Yeah, well, <laughs> Why did you do it, Barrett? You you <laughs> lost two of your points. I saw it after my last round. Oh, uh, okay. Good job, Barrett. It was a killer play, though. All right, so we had three money and two just skill guns and one Barrett for us. So Matt, is that where you being the one Barrett boy spot in this tribe? Uh, at first it did, but honestly at the end there are no tribes really. It's just like every person for themselves, so I just gotta learn how to adapt to this new tribe. Hey, does Kira join the tribe after tribal council? So you guys already have three Moynihan in this tribe. Does that affect you guys both? That another Moynihan's gonna be joining this tribe no matter what? Um. For this particular vote, it didn't really affect my mindset. I think the biggest thing going forward is making sure that we keep winning. Um, and like, I'd like to see the previous like tribes like oh my God, kind of fade away so we can work together as a new one and see the tribe in one more challenge. All right, let's keep talking about the one in the tribe. They want all the challenges, so they're, they're, they're the big boys. So, Robbie, your tribe has the most tribe members in the game. You guys have five compared to two. Four, four, and you guys won every challenge. So, um, do you think that makes your red tribe a target right now, or do you think things have gone beyond that already? I think right now it would make us a target if we just have like the numbers that we have on our tribe. But I think after the merge, it's going to be something that people really focus on because um, they they're going to know that there are three, four, however many money hands left, and um, they're going to want to break up that low group so it doesn't like keep us going right to the end. So Barrett, three idol clues out there to your tribe. Do you think the idol is still out there? Do you think some, or do you think someone has to play? Well, I feel like we've done uh, such extensive searching at this point. I feel like someone has to have it. So as the merge comes closer, it gets closer and closer with each tribe of here. Um, how does that affect how the votes happen? Are you voting for people for different reasons now? I mean, this is your first tribe, obviously. You, Robbie, and Barrett. But do you think? This is a different type of vote compared to if you were voting on your original tribes. I mean, it is my first tribal, so I don't have that much of a difference. But I feel like there's different kind of conflicting motivations coming in. Like Matt said, like we do have, we do kind of see different alliances dissolving and maybe new ones growing. So I think that comes into play more than maybe just as equally as keeping the tribe strong, so we don't have to. Matt, there's a lot of different reasons to vote someone out of But most of the time it's because they're a threat to your game. So how do you define threat in the game survival right now? Uh, a threat is at anyone who can last longer than I can, I guess. So it's really just getting rid of them before it's me and making sure I can go as far as I can. Shane, does anyone that does anyone on this tribe fit that sort of description? You know, we're not in individuals, so my whole mindset is I don't want to get rid of people that that threaten me just because, um, you know, the ones that I feel that are threatening me are the ones that I also think are the are good teammates. Because I see them as like if I see them as like equal in terms of competitiveness, and that's someone I do want on my team. So I think right now the threat is keeping someone on the team who doesn't help the team at all, and um, you know I. At this point, I'm not focused on anyone who, you know, stands out and does anything. 
So Robbie, you guys have been pretty kumbaya, I'd say, since you since you lost the challenge. You guys are having a lot of fun in the group chat, talking just about maybe the idol, maybe idol hunt, maybe about like just this week as a whole. Do you think the outcome of this trial will reflect that? You think everyone's gonna be happy with each other after this? There's no way everybody's gonna be happy after the trial ever ends out that way. Um, I think what we need to focus on is like the welfare of the tribe because we did just come off the loss and. We need to do what we can to make sure that we don't come back here next time. Some people aren't going to catch you, but hopefully the majority of the tribe is. Um, so Barrett, you're one of the three here. This is your first tribal so far. Do you think that's a disadvantage for the three Moynihan members that you guys haven't gotten to experience the tribal council? I feel like generally, yes, that'd be a disadvantage, but we've done so much talking and so much thinking about it. I feel like over the course of like the past few weeks being in the Moynihan tribe, We've done enough preparation at this point where we know what we're doing. Alright, to finish up. Heidi, do you think like do you think your tribe can bounce back from this loss? I mean I think so. I mean it's still early, like at the end of the day, whoever's left here, it's gonna be six v six against the other tribe. And I think that moving forward we're gonna be okay. Alright, and any finishing thoughts before we get to the vote? Alright. Alright, there you go first. Orange is not my color. You seem to be more divisive than I'd want on my trap, and also I think you're a threat later on in the game, so it's better to get rid of you now than when you can rejoin your other allies from the green tribe. Anyone has anything you know, like to play, now would be the time to do so. Thank you, Shane. What are you playing this for, Shane? Myself. All right. In the event that the hidden email is played, all votes against that person do not count. Uh, this is not hidden media idol, so all votes against Shane will count. Oh, shit. I'll read the votes. First vote, Robbie. One vote, Robbie. Second vote, Shane. One Robbie, one Shane. Third vote, Robbie. It's two votes, Robbie. One vote, Shane. Fourth vote, Shane. All tied up. It's two votes, Robbie. Two votes Shane, two votes left. Fifth vote. Shane. It's three votes Shane, two votes Robbie, one vote left. And the fourth person vote has to Robbie Yukon ready to rumble. Shane. I'm sorry, I'm poor, I'm not here tonight. Sorry, Shane, but. It's a cute fake idol, but it didn't seem to work. Uh, and now we have Kira, the new member of the Kemba tribe. Yes, so you guys will have six going to the next challenge. If you guys don't want to return here again, you're going to have to put up a better performance in the next challenge. Hopefully, you guys will be a little more united going forward. See you guys then. So someone found the real one, huh? Yeah, who do you think who do you think set you up with a fake? Violet Robbie. There's no way that they couldn't have found it. Because the, they told us the fourth one and it was it was like ten feet away from the gates, so it had to be 
That kind of sucks. She thought we had Matt on our side too, and then he fucked us over. Anyone you're pulling for specifically going for? I want I want Heidi and Maddie to to win. Uh, I don't really have any regrets. I think um, you know. Uh, no, Robbie's just an asshole. <laughs> I like that kid. Next time on Survivor Yukon. A shame got voted out and that really sucked. Um, yeah, I'm going to be stupid to vote one of them out. All right, community, back up for grabs. Today is an eating challenge. I know if our team lost, I was the next person out. 